Well, hey fans, welcome back to another movie review. And today we're reviewing The Color Purple. So obviously we are reviewing The Color Purple that was released in the year of our Lord 2023 and not the 1980s version directed by Steven Spielberg. Uh, this version actually has a black director, Blitz Bazule, and it stars Fantasia Barino, Coleman Domingo, Corey Hawkins, Daniel Brooks, um, Chloe or Hallie, I think it's Hallie, um, and and many, many other fantastic names. Taraji P. Henson, like just so uh, many beautiful uh, black people in this film. And, and I have to say, it was a wonderful experience. The original Color Purple is one of my most favorite films of all times. I've seen it definitely over a hundred times since I was a young child. I could probably quote every uh, line in that film. And I was a bit hesitant when I found out they were going to remake it. And especially as a musical. So... This version, while based off of the book like the original film, it is more in line with the Broadway play, which I believe Fantasia Barino also starred in. So there's a lot more singing and dancing than the original. And I did not think that that was a good idea starting out. I had never seen the Broadway play, so I didn't know how you could make the story in that essence, so to speak. But boy, I have to tell you, this movie is fantastic it is a cinema shifting musical masterpiece and just the way Bazoule put this whole thing together it, it brought a tear to my eye by the end the performances were great Fantasia Barino uh, of course winner of America Idol great singer just belts belts her heart out in all of the songs and all the roles she's a terrific actress in this in this role of Seely you know and I, I was very happy she took on that role from Whoopi Goldberg, who actually makes a cameo appearance in this film as a midwife delivering one of the Seeley's children. I really enjoyed that. We did not get a cameo from Oprah. I do wish she had popped in there, but she is a producer on the film along with Steven Spielberg, so that was great. Uh, Daniel Brooks does fill the role that Oprah played, and she does it phenomenally. You know, she's a, a bigger woman, and it's pretty much it's pretty much that exact same character except she she does seem i'm not gonna say a little more tough she seems just as tough and and i really did enjoy her take on the role coleman domingo as mister was a fantastic casting he is you know a little more charming than um and i can't remember the actor's name right now uh, he's a little more charming than danny glover was in the role danny glover is more like stern and serious uh, Coleman Domingo has those same like aspects. He's like abusive, but you know he's like you can understand why somebody would kind of fall for him. He, he's not as it's kind of creepy, but not as creepy. And like I said, all the casting in this Harpo, uh, Corey Hawkins is Harpo. It, it was great, and I, I feel like this movie has more redeeming qualities than the original. The original Color Purple was like a dark, brutal like dreadful film highlighted by moments of joy whereas this movie it's like the exact same story but it seems like it's more moments of joy highlighted by moments of dark and dreadful instances and i i i like the way they, they told the story and i'm just going to keep continuing saying that i really did enjoy this film and i do like the aspects of they go further with Celie and her sister's story in this film. You get to find out more about her life after she, you know, leaves Mister and her sister comes back from Africa with the kids. You get to see more of that life, at least from what I remember. I haven't seen the original film in a long time, so I'm not sure. I remember that movie basically ending with her sister coming back and her meeting her kids. This one goes a little bit further. There's that reconciliation between her and Mister that I think was great. You know, a lot of the characters in this film look like they learn their lessons. They grow up in this cycle of abuse and, you know, hatred. And by the end, I feel like everybody's like a better person, a stronger person, a more loving, joyful person. They've gone through all of these horrible, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. That is kind of like the lesson I take from this film. Like, life throws some shit at you. It throws some bad stuff at you. But, you know, if you can make it through to the other side, you will be okay. And I think the cinemas are fearing what could happen to them this holiday season. They don't think they have any films to, you know, garner audiences coming up, buy tickets. This 
is the family movie to save them in my personal humble opinion. I think that you should definitely take all of your kids out. Uh, PG-13 and higher. Maybe you can take some 10-year-olds if they have an adult to see this movie because there are some like, it's still the color purple. There's still like some very harsh subject matter in this film. But I do think it can be enjoyed by the entire family and it's just a beautiful, beautiful story. The music, the dancing is great. The songs, I don't really like musicals. I don't really like songs. I thought this was going to be just a song and a song and a song. No, it's a story and the song is a part of the story and it all works. It is just really enjoyable. And the, the casting, great costume design, cinematography, score, everything about this film worked. Anything that I thought I wasn't going to like about it, I pretty much forgot about it by the end. So in terms of score, I'm giving this movie a perfect 10 out of 10. A perfect 10 out of 10 uh, for me. So yes, please check it out as soon as you can. I want to thank you guys again for joining me for this uh, review. Remember, you can watch the full video on YouTube and the website, flipfrogllc.com slash flicksfrog. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Reddit. And please, pretty please, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Facebook page. Anything and everything, Flip Frog, Flip Frog, Flip Frog books, make sure that you subscribe. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.